What's going on guys, it's Tom with Top 10 Wrestling. I just wanted to talk about some of the recent goings on that happened recently in the world of wrestling, which took place a couple days ago on Twitter, uh, regarding some controversy and a controversial show that was being booked and all the drama that went down and kind of summarize it, give my thoughts and just talk about it all really. So Joey Ryan is the name of a wrestler you probably have heard of. I've made a video on him before. He wrestled for PWG, which he was the founder of and a former world champion there. Ring of Honor, WSX or Wrestling Society X, MLW, DDT, Lucha Underground, TNA, NWA. And the last place you probably saw him was Impact, which he was a part of from 2019 until June 2020. So Joey Ryan got viral on the internet and became viral amongst wrestling due to his gimmick where he would do... He had a very interesting gimmick where he used his private parts for his finishing move. Uh, it was a very polarizing gimmick. Many people defended it uh, and many people were against it. Uh, obviously, I can... It's not a whole rabbit hole I want to go down now, but the reason why you don't see him in wrestling shows anymore is because during the Speaking Out movement in June of 2020, Joey Ryan, there were many allegations made against him, with I believe more than a dozen people coming forward and making these allegations against him, uh, which led to impact amongst other wrestling promotions releasing him and not you not choosing to use him going forward or because of the allegations that were made against him joey ryan has made his own response video talking about these allegations but like i said that's the reason why you don't see him on any shows really anymore no one really wants to work with him due to these allegations that were made against him recently however or a couple days ago in fact a Twitter account called at wrestling for WC with the title wrestling for women's charity tweeted out a poster for an event they are running. This is a whole new account that was created. This was their very first tweet. They said March 20th at 7.30 p.m. Jackson Terminal, Knoxville, Tennessee, streaming live on fight. Ticket info here. All proceeds go to Project GRL, blah, 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 blah. And they put a poster up for it. It's a show called wrestling for women's charity. Uh, and it's a charity show for a women's charity event. Uh, and on first glance, this looks like a nice little show. A charity show for a women's charity. Really cool. And looking at the poster, you can see Carlito, Molly Holly, Sonny Kiss, Brian Cage, Trey Miguel, Eric Redbeard, Harry Smith, or David Hart Smith, or Davey Boy Smith Jr., I think he goes by now. Uh, Gangrel, uh, and Rhino, and amongst a load of other wrestlers. But... You look next to Rhino, hidden in the poster, Where's Wally style, or Waldo if you're American, is Joey Ryan, which he's hidden in the poster right there, you can see him, he's being shown on the poster, and this obviously got a lot of people talking. Effie, who is an independent wrestler, responded by saying, purposely not informing involved talent is also disgusting, obviously in reference saying that it's basically saying that, alleging that talent were not informed of Joey Ryan being on the show. And that was one of the questions being asked by many people in the replies, was, why on earth are people working with Joey Ryan? And the other question was, why on earth are a promotion booking Joey Ryan? Well, it got uncovered on the Wrestling for Women's Charity uh, tickets page. The contact details showed the owner of the event, Bar Wrestling. If you've never heard of Bar Wrestling, that is the promotion that Joey Ryan founded and used to run before it closed down because of the allegations made against him. So Joey Ryan is the one running this show. And if Effie is to be believed, the talent had absolutely no idea that Joey Ryan was a part of this whole production, which is just really, really crazy. Because what's being said here is that Joey Ryan has created a wrestling show anonymously, booked a load of people, and then released this poster with his face on it, and didn't tell anyone that he was being booked. Which is pretty... just mad. Obviously, people started to take notice to this, started pointing it out. Uh, Tony Khan, the AEW owner, responded saying, If Joey Ryan is there, my people won't be there. I'll gladly donate to the charity, though. To which he followed up saying, wait, if he's behind this, 
then is this charity even legit? And if you look closer into the charity, the charity is a healing women charity. They want to heal the soul of a woman, which is, many people pointed out, that the charity maybe isn't the best. I don't know how to, I don't know how to word it. The charity does not look amazing, basically. It looks a bit dodgy. So Joey Ryan has hid behind a charity show for a women's charity when, obviously, many women have made allegations against him, and many people saw that as quite a disgusting thing. Eventually, after the tweet got absolutely ratioed to shreds, I mean, if you look at the screenshot here, 25 retweets, 500, nearly 600 quote tweets, the tweet got deleted, and then the Wrestling for Women's Charity account tweeted out saying, We apologize for riling everyone up. It is clear that we're in over our heads. We'll say that everybody booked was fully aware of all details, including going through AEW's third-party booking system for talent. Rather than put talent in a tough situation, we've cancelled the show. So obviously in that tweet it says, We'll say that everybody booked was fully aware of all details. I don't know if they're trying to say that they were aware that Joey Ryan was a part of it all. I know many people read that and they don't believe that they they don't actually believe that. They believe that the wrestlers were lied to, which personally, I kind of believe that they weren't informed based on how much backlash this got and what Effie said. And following this, the account was deleted as a whole. Uh, it joined February 2021, this account. It was a new account also, I should point out. And yeah, within a month, it's been deleted. And this show is never going to happen because it kind of got exposed what was going on. I think it's kind of crazy if they just left Joey off the poster. This event probably could have gone through. I mean, there is a very good amount of talent on here. And I have no doubt that people would have bought tickets had joey ryan not being seen on the poster it's it's really crazy that this all happened honestly and i'm kind of bewildered by it but yes the show is not happening uh and even if it was to happen i don't know how many people how many wrestlers would have actually been on it i doubt none of them would have actually gone on it so i don't think it was going to happen regardless uh, i think the second the poster released this event was done so never going to happen but just a crazy situation all around and yeah, it's kind of mad that this stuff just happens in wrestling. Like, this is just an occurrence. Um, I want to promote and hiding behind a women's charity, a, a dodgy women's charity at that. It is just the icing on the cake. Um, obviously, I know a lot of people were saying that rather than buying tickets to the show, we should all donate to the charity before finding out that the charity itself is dodgy. So if I could recommend anything to donate to, uh, I've donated $15 myself to a defense fund to someone who uh, is being sued by Joey Ryan for speaking out against him. I'm going to put that link in the description. I think use your energy towards that uh, and donate to that. I've donated $15 to it, and I'm going to put some of the ad revenue from this video towards it as well. Probably most of the ad revenue from this video. But yeah, uh, basically, as the title says, Joey Ryan needs to be stopped. Um, obviously, like I said, it's all allegations against him. Uh, but regardless, he shouldn't be doing this and trying to hurt people's credibility by having them being booked on the same show as him, because I saw many people questioning the integrity of these wrestlers, but if they weren't aware, like everyone's saying they were, then it's really unfair to question their integrity and put their credibility on the line like that. As well as that, the past couple of months, Joey Ryan's been uploading non-stop to his YouTube channel, uh, old matches he was a part of, and I know a few of the people in the match were alleging that they didn't give him permission to upload these matches. I know he's uploading matches with like Candice LeRae was in and loads of other stars who are currently signed or on the indies. And again, it's just wrong to hurt these wrestlers' credibilities by having them be associated with Joey Ryan through these fake wrestling shows and the uploading of these matches. But that's my piece on this all. Um, it's a video I didn't really want to make, but I kind of wanted to get my thoughts out there because it's just a stupid, crazy situation. And I just hate that stuff like this happens in wrestling. Like, I absolutely hate it. Uh, but either way, that's it for this video. See you guys soon, and we'll get back to regular scheduled content. So, see you guys. Thanks for watching.